In this video, we're going to do a couple of examples relating to significant figures. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of math problems and we are going to have to round to a certain number of sig figs. Okay, so let me just throw out some numbers here. Um, let's see, I'm 39 and let's multiply that by 365. Uh, 0.25 days in a year. Okay. So if I pull up my handy dandy calculator, let's make this just a little smaller. Okay. So 39 times 365.25. All right. So, wow, that's a lot of days that I've been alive. Actually, it's a little bit more because I'm past my birthday. All right, so we have this giant number, uh, 14,000. Bring it back up, 244 points, I believe it was 75. Yep. Okay, so we have this giant number here. And we always round to whatever number has the least number of significant figures. Okay, so for 39, those are both non-zero numbers, so there are two significant figures here. In 365.25, those are all non-zero numbers, so I have one, two, three, four, five significant figures. So the weakest link, per se, is two significant figures. So going from left to right, I want to underline the first two significant digits, and then we'll look at the third. So there are the first two, and then we look at the next digit. So am I going to leave this as 14,000, or do I round up to 15,000? Well, two means we're going to round down, so my answer will, answer will be 14,000. Now, those are trailing zeros. There is not a decimal, so those trailing zeros do not count as significant figures. So the only two numbers that matter are the one and the four. All right, let's do another one. Let's throw in some zeros. So what about, um, let's see here, let's do 0 0.025 uh, times 1.2. Okay just totally random numbers here. All right, so let's pull out the calculator and let's do the math. 0 0.025 times 1.2. Okay, so we get 0 0.03. 0 0.03. Okay, now this one is a little tricky because for both of these, they both have two significant figures, okay? So, um, leading zeros don't count, so this doesn't count, this doesn't count, so we have one, two significant figures here. Um, here we have one, and then here's another digit, so they both have two. So I wanna round this to two significant figures. This doesn't count, this doesn't count, so we start here, I need to add a zero here. So my final answer will be 0 0.030. This one's kind of tricky because these zeros don't count. This zero after the three does count. So that's two significant figures. All right, let's do one more. Let's do, how about, um, let's see, today is the ninth, 9 9.0 times, um, how about 2023? 2023. All right. So, pull out my calculator. 9 times 2023. Wow, that's a lot of numbers. 18207. Okay, 9.0. Both of those numbers are significant, okay? That zero is a trailing zero after a decimal point, so that means there's two here. Um, we have a zero here, but it is sandwiched between both of those two, so that zero is gonna count. So one, two, three, four. 
2 is the least number of significant figures. So going from left to right, I want to underline the first two significant digits and then look at the third. So is this going to be 18,000 or 19,000? Well, it'll be 18,000 because 2 means round down. We are not going to put a decimal place here. Uh, if I put a decimal place here, if I put a decimal right here, now these three zeros will count, and we don't want that. So for them not to count, we do not use a decimal point. Okay, and Those are three examples of significant figures.